Chismosas, an initial toxicology report has been performed on Liam Payne in Argentina and has recently been released. Now, I'm going to go through this and I'm going to try to say it the best as I can. You know that TikTok and Instagram and all these other pages don't necessarily like when we use specific words. So I'm going to go ahead and try to glaze through some of them. Doesn't mean I'm being insensitive. I'm just trying not to get the video taken down. Now, if you guys are uninterested in hearing about this or not ready for this, you already know the drill. Go ahead and save the video and come back later. But if you're ready let's get into it so liam payne's toxicology test results showed that the former one direction singer had a cocktail of different substances in his system at the time of his tragic passing according to a news report a partial autopsy found that Payne has substances including um uh, coca-cola a word that rhymes with whack and benzos which they described as a type of depressant a test also found that he had pink coca-cola in his system as well which is a recreational substance that typically mixes these three things right here, which I'm not gonna say out loud, but you guys can clearly see here. Now, local authorities had also said that Payne had been under the influence of something called crystal, a substance that causes users to experience extreme highs and extreme lows, often making them aggressive which explains so much and all this to say that instead of these people taking him up to his room and locking his ass up there they should have done more for him they should have been there for him and they knew good and well that this man was not in the right state of mind to be alone and yet that's exactly what they did i mean with that many substances in your system do you think that you can think clearly you think that you could do anything without help this is absolutely devastating this man passed out in the lobby. He was screaming for help. And this is how he ended up. And this just paints a way clearer picture now, for me at least, that I don't think he did this on purpose. I think he was just completely out of it and he fell. And the worst part of all of this is that there was somebody that actually works there that confessed that they had heard that Liam got all of this stuff from somebody that worked at that hotel. Now, I really hope that Liam's family and his team and whoever else is close to him is trying to get justice for him because that's absolutely crazy. But anyways, guys, I'm curious to know what you guys think about all this. Let me know down below in the comments and don't forget to like and follow for more gossip, cheese man, and all things C.